Countdown to Thanksgiving. You really can't have a turkey without some delicious stuffing. Yeah, we'll kick out the boring box stuffing because Great Harvest, Marion Sahachek, and Dennis is yeah. here joining us as well. Here with a recipe that will wow the family. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning. good morning. Thanks for having us. So I know we were discussing. It's really not that difficult, but just walk us through the steps, Marion, to show the folks okay. what they need it's, to go through this. It's about the simplest thing ever, and it's delicious, mm. which is nice. I'm Easy smelling this right here, and I'm already just wanting yeah. a spoonful. So, so. so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take about a cup of wild rice, and you're going to put it in four cups of boiling chicken broth. So something around this. It's already cooked. Throw it right in there. Okay. Yep, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Throw, we'll it throw it in, in there. there. Yep, throw it in. All right, just dump right. it in. Righty. It's just a little. We, most of it's mixed up, but we did okay. a little bit. And then, then, then the next thing is you're gonna um, do about a pound of mushrooms mm -hmm. sliced up, uh, three ribs of celery, and a large onion chopped up. Okay. And okay. just that just gets sautéed all together. Yeah. Okay. You can Sorry, do that so. while the while the rice is cooking. So, so just I'll dump do that this one. one. That one's yours. Dump that right in there. And then there, there we go. go. Perfect. And then the final thing is the bread cubes. You mm -hmm. can take about 12 ounces. Old fashioned white works great as okay. old fashioned white bread. We and actually we actually sell bread cubes already dried in the store. Oh, great. So easy You've to been do. Prepping these. Yes. Been prepping this all up. Yeah. So then the bread cubes go in next. Then that is going to get stirred up. Um, and as I said, I kind of started a little bit because it's kind of a mess. I don't <laughs> want to. But like, I mean, look at this. It looks it's delicious. Delicious. Though. A yeah. delicious mess. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, so you've already used four cups of chicken broth, right. and then you have about a cup and a half left, and then that's just going to get poured right in on top of this. Because it's funny because you make dried bread cubes, and then you put chicken broth to get them all wet again. Uh, so. yeah, <laughs> but it brings all that, you know, adds that oh. extra poultry flavor right there, so right. it works really good. And then that just gets stirred up, and then you're going to put it in your, your slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Give it a little spray first. Even, I have a Teflon lined one. I still give it just a little spray first because you don't, you don't want to clean up that sticky mess. And there's good strategy too, Marion, because you're saying this actually helps you save some space around yes. the kitchen, right? That's right, because you're not mm. using your valuable oven space right. with, your, with your dressing. And you can even save countertop because a lot of people plug it in in their garage because it just it's going to cook for about two hours. Depends. If you want a little drier, you're going to cook it for maybe two and a half. Right. Mm -hmm. A little wetter, you might put a little more, more broth in okay. with it. Awesome. So just really is your okay. personal preference. Now, Dennis wanted to show us some of the bread that you we had on display. Uh, this year we're featuring for the first time uh, our uh, turkey uh, loaves right here. Gobble, uh, we're not featuring <laughs> me, but the turkey. This turkey right. here. Yeah, yeah, this turkey right there. And then we also have uh, stuffing bread that's great for sandwiches uh, with leftover turkey. Oh, yeah. And it has all a lot of the same ingredients as the stuffing has right. in there. And then of course we have our dinner rolls and we also have at holiday time we have light wheat potato rolls which are really good. And then our Czechoslovakian holiday bread oh. which is a sweet dough uh, uh, loaded with whole almonds, golden raisins, braided in four strands and then with, uh, topped with uh, sliced almonds. All right, and I mean, you guys have a ton of other stuff at the stores, though, correct? Absolutely. We even we make kolaches every day, but mm -hmm. we'll make a ton of them this week. People will put, we'll order them. We make seven and different cinnamon varieties. rolls, and yes. cinnamon rolls with icing, cream cheese icing on them. Pretty the good. Amount yeah. of, the amount of bread being mm. discussed there. I'm just yeah. I'm so happy discussing yeah. this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Carbs, carbs, yeah. carbs. Favorite, yeah. So. yeah. You, just, you just start drooling for yes, the whole thing. Yes, absolutely. But like the, the, for example, this whole uh, dressing recipe, it's just so easy, and you just you set it aside, and mm. there This is, it is the finished product, isn't it? There it is. It? Yeah, right, Jose. Right there. It's well, all yours. <laughs> I'm going to have a bite of this. Well, I'm just like going to give it, I'm going to give it the seal of approval. Yeah, okay. there you go. Oh, good for you. You're brave. <laughs> Yum. All and right. you were right. It's yeah. delicious. It's so delicious. can people find these this recipe online if they wanted to get it? Uh, yes, and we also have copies at the store. And I'm not sure, does Channel 7 put it online as well? I think that sometimes they might have it online. Okay, or, we can certainly do that. Yeah. Awesome, great. Yeah, well, so thank you so much, Mary and yes, Dennis. you're welcome. Thank you, Well, remember.